<clears throat> Alright. What's up, everybody? So, first, before we even get going, I want to thank you guys for 150 subs, which is why we chose this car. I know I'm trying to drive on the wheel right now. I'm not very good at it. Here we hit and swap over to controller real quick. So, we picked the 1955 Chevy 150 utility sedan. 150 is the trim level because there was the 150, the 210, and the Bel Air. I've always been really fond of the Tri 5 Chevys. So, yeah. So, just open it all up. Should buy one of these in real life. The prices are going down on them. I'll have to get one. It'd be cool to get like a Tri 5 with like an LS in it. I'll put an LS in it. It'd be cool. Um, but anyway, before we get into it, I want to give a huge thanks to the boys. You guys know who you are, the homies. Um, also want to give a huge thanks to my classmates throughout high school. I also want to congratulate them on graduating class of 2021. Um, yeah. I also want to thank everybody who subbed, who's been there long run, short run, doesn't matter when. But, uh, Anyway, I guess let's get into this. We've got a drift Chevy. We've got a 6.2 V8, because why not? Big V8s are cool. All wheel drive, twin turbo. Let's see. St I put stock arrow, you can put whatever you want, doesn't matter. You gotta have drag tires. Went with the 195mm front. <clears throat> Excuse me, the 295 millimeter rears. Go with any wheels. I went with the Krager SS Super Sport wheels. So right there in that third category. Wheel size doesn't matter. Left it stock. Race clutch. Race transmission. Race driveline. Race differential. Race brakes. Race springs and dampeners. Race front anti roll, race rear anti roll. Wait, did I say race? I meant drift suspension. I, I might have said race, I don't know what I said. No roll cage and race weight reduction. Uh, race intake, race fuel system, race in in ignition, race exhaust, race camshaft, race valves, race engine block, race pistons and compression. Race turbo, race intercooler, race oil and cooling, race flywheel. <sighs> I always hate doing that part. It gets so like tedious and repetitive. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess um, huge. I'm gonna give like the people actually building this a minute here before I head on to tuning. So yeah, I want to give everybody a big thanks. Friends, classmates, everybody who kind of helped me, push me, get along with it, help me upload on time, help me form a schedule until I kind of got comfortable with it and went on it on my own. So, tire pressure, 30-30 front and rear gearing. We got. 3.37 final drive, 2.60 first gear, 1.93 second gear, 1.49 third, 1.19 fourth, 0.99 fifth, and 0.84 sixth. Alignment, we have negative 4.0 camber, negative 1.0 rear. 2.6 toe out with a front caster angle of 7 
anti-roll bars in the front we have 12.77 and in the rear we have 13.38 springs in the front we have 315.2 in the rear we have 349.3 ride height you can do what you want I prefer to kick up the back end a little bit on these tri fives um, Rebound stiffness, you got 5.7 in the front, 6.0 in the rear. For bump stiffness, we have 3.0 front and rear. Arrow, if you got it, put the front end all the way to cornering, leave the rear. Balance, you want 100% towards the front and 110% pressure. Sound like something fell in the kitchen. Differential, we have 20% acceleration, 0% deceleration on the front, and in the rear we have 90% acceleration with 50% deceleration, and a 70% towards the rear center balance. There we go. There we got it right there. Now, I'm going to do a little drift with the controller, then we'll hop on the wheel again and give it a go. Like, I've had this wheel for almost like a year. I've only used it a couple of times. Like, I can drive with it pretty solid, but as far as drifting goes, I'm having some difficulties. Whoa. Yeah, for some reason, Forza isn't letting me play online right now. It's not the. Uh, it's not my connectivity to Torito, it's like the servers themselves are being funny. I don't know why. Hopefully they fix it with next week's whoops, with yeah, next week's update. Okay, now I guess let's hop on the wheel. <clears throat> yeah, hop on the wheel. So, um Whoa, my chair's moving back. My chair's moving back. <laughs> I hit the, my chair, like, got wheels on it. And when I hit the gas and the brake at the same time, my chair started scooting back. Like it's doing right now. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I was not ready for that. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm kind of struggling as far as drifting goes with the wheel. I'll get the hang of it though. Okay, okay, all right. Almost. It's almost a good turn. Hit this one up here though. Okay, back to the controller. Back to the controller. That was a horrible idea. Anyway, so real life, some of you guys who've been here a minute or my actual friends know that I, and my actual real life car is a Pontiac from the Trans Am. Uh, I've been thinking about getting another car. I don't know if I should get a Tri-5 Chevy like this one I'm driving in the game right now, or a new Charger. Like a newer Charger with like the Daytona package on it. All that gets me is like a nice interior, some cool wheels, and a stripe on like the rear fender of like the car. It goes over the trunk. Like obviously the charger is gonna have more power, but like it's gonna be a lot more expensive and it's got smog and all that. Where like that Chevy, it's 55, 56, and 7, so I don't really have to smog it. But yeah, I don't know. I'll figure something out between it. I'll let you guys know what I get. Uh, I don't think I have any footage of my Trans Am on the channel. Yeah, I have like little to no real life footage on here. Arrived at your destination. 
Yeah, this is definitely a weird one because on my like special videos, like the specials, like 100 subscriber special, I never really do builds. I kind of just do whatever. But I guess this time I went for a build. Um, different approach. Don't know if it was the right choice or not. We're gonna find out. But I mean, this uploads how good it is. So, um, just real quick before we end off here, I want to congratulate some friends, Jesse, Julian, Ashley, Amy, Luke, you guys are the real ones who, oh, and Gavin, Gavin really got involved for a bit there, helping me out, kind of pushing me to upload, getting going, and all that, and help me kind of form a schedule that I had there for a bit during like when school was actually in session for all the online stuff and then summer hit kind of went my own thing with the schedule doing every other day school picked back up schedule changed again school I just graduated so schedule is probably going to change again but then I'm going off to college in August so Probably gonna have a few schedule changes this year just based on like what I feel like doing over summer. <clears throat> Excuse me, and how my college schedule is looking. I'm majoring in geology. And then I'm gonna get my lab field and teaching credentials all my senior year of college. So that's gonna be interesting for sure. Yeah, big thanks to those people I named earlier. Channel definitely not be where it is without them. Uh, yeah, and congratulations to everyone watching this. It's class 2021. Gotta go donuts. Gotta end it with donuts. I forgot I got something to do right now. Thanks for watching, bye guys.